Hello my creative peeps and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know, my name is Leanne. Today we are participating in, or I am, in a very exciting challenge called Honey Slim Pickens. This was put together by Allie Brown, which most of you may know, and she has selected several ladies to um, kind of introduce it to you guys with her. I am not one of those ladies, but I will try to link as many of them as I can below for you guys. I decided to try and take part in this challenge and encourage you to do so as well. So in case you haven't heard of it before, the idea of the challenge is to have someone else pick for you five things to use on a journal page and you can only use those five things. I'm sorry about the airplane. <laughs> um, so I had uh, my aunt pick out five things for me. Most people are having their husbands do it for them, but you know. I don't have one of those. So, uh, she picked out five things for me and two of them are kind of things that I would use um, on a daily basis and in my favorite color. She just kind of reached into all of my baskets and pulled one thing out, um, but there are a few things in there that I wouldn't normally use. Um, so I'm going to try and at least use the things that I would normally use in a way that I wouldn't normally use them. If that makes sense. That was a mouthful, right? So without further ado, let's turn you around and get into the video. I apologize if I need dog barking, but that's just how it has to be. So these are the five things that my aunt picked for me. Um, like I said, some of them are things that I would normally use. Like I use this aqua ink all the time, but it can't be cheating because I didn't pick it. So I feel like picking a new one would be cheating. So for this, we're just going with it. So I'm going to use the Aqua India ink by Bombay. Alcohol ink is, I've probably only used this once, maybe twice since I've had it. This is sunshine yellow, which is also a color I'm not a fan of. So we'll see what we can do with that. This is Bright Aqua Green Basics Acrylic Color. Um, obviously, it's in my color, but I haven't used acrylic paint in a long time. Actually, I don't even know if I've used it in my current journal that I'm almost done with. So, that'll be good to try and use that again. And I've never used it in, like, mixture with other things. So, we'll see what we can do. She picked out this feather stencil. Um... I apparently have used it even though I didn't think I had because there's paint on it um, but I also haven't used stencils in a while so that'll be good to try and then she picked this specific stamp right here the own your dreams um, which I have tried to use a few times but never successfully did I just never put it on my page I don't think so these are my five things um, I'm going to be it's going to be interesting. Let's get into it. I'm excited! Okay, so here we go. I decided to just start out by laying all of my wet medium out on my craft sheet so that I could work with it. I decided that it was okay to use a paintbrush <laughs> because I... I couldn't make anything finger painting with this stuff. It wasn't going to happen. So, feathers always remind me of dream catchers. So that's kind of just what I decided to do um, on a whim. Why not? So I'm taking the acrylic paint and using it to outline the stencil because pen wasn't one of my tools that my aunt chose for me. So working with what I got and then I decided to take some of the India ink and fill in the feathers with it and I thought that if I put the alcohol ink in the India ink that it would run together and create green like watercolor and it kind of does and it kind of doesn't. Um, alcohol ink is a very strange creature and I 
like I said, I've maybe only used it once before, so I wasn't really sure what I was doing. So it was definitely a cool experiment. So I just dropped some in there and I don't know, it kind of turns green, but it really stays yellow at the same time. So yeah, I just did that for all three of the feathers. And now I'm just taking more India ink and making the inside design of the dream catcher. This was really fun to do because I was just all loose. I wasn't worried about it being perfect. I was just playing around because I didn't expect it to turn out that great to begin with, which made it turn out good in the end, I think, which is a fun thing about this challenge. It really helps you to let go. So then I decided to go back in with some of the alcohol ink and make some, uh, circles to represent beads on dream catchers um i've made a few myself and i really like adding crystals to um my dream catchers so i thought it would be a fun addition to kind of add that bead like shape in there and then i just made some what i wanted to be strings but they just look kind of funny because the alcohol ink runs in a weird way on the Tomoe River paper so I decided to put a little bit of turquoise um, along those strings as well just to tie it all together so it wasn't so yellow And then it was, at this point, I was still kind of fooling around. I dried it, and I was like, how the heck am I going to incorporate this stamp? So, I decided to just take the stamp and put some paint on it. And stamp it over some of the white space as if it was a background to begin with. Uh, and I think it looked pretty cool. I definitely had to clean my stamp really well after using this acrylic paint on it, but it was okay. And of course, I didn't have a block either, so I just stamped it. And it actually came out really good. I was expecting it to not be, um, that you wouldn't be able to read it as well as you can. Okay guys, I'm done. I thought I was going to uh, bend the rules a little bit and use my white Signo to outline some stuff, but after leaving and coming back, um, I don't think it needs it. I kind of like it that way. It's just really raw and I, I think it's cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you decide to participate in this challenge as well. It's definitely worth it. Use the hashtag Honey Slim Pickens. And so all the creators and the rest of us can see your pages and derive some inspiration from them. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and don't want to miss any of my future ones. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.